Hey, little cat, what are you doing there? That's a little cat. See, he's a happy little baby cat. Hey, little cat, what's up? You okay? Are you playing with the blackberry? Hmm? You okay? Hmm. So cute. So that's our little kitty cat. You see that? And that's our mango. The big puppy here, Mango. Hey, Mango. All right, so I'm making a raised garden. You can see this is my front of my house. Kitty cat. Okay, let me take a little video so that I can show that on the YouTube. All right, I'm making a raised garden here. You can see that it's a friend of the house. And uh, the raised garden is about, uh, about three feet wide, three feet high about 20, 20, 25 feet long, right, I made it with, the, I had some extra plywood, you know, around, I did not use any anything treated, the only thing treated wood was this uh, landscape post, which is only like five dollars a piece, you see the landscape timber is much cheaper than the four by four, and they are treated, and so they last a long time, See the landscape timber, it's only five dollars a piece, much cheaper but very functional, it works. Actually my fence in the front is all done by the landscape timber, it has been six years and they are still holding strong. So landscape timber is the cheapest way to go, alright, but it's very also good quality, where it's good enough where it can hold for many years, alright. So that's the post I put, I cut it, I cut the 8 foot post, landscape timber, um, into half. So this is 4 feet each. I went about a feet and a half deep into the ground. So that um, it's tall now, it's about 300 feet sticking up. Sorry, about 200 of 3. Uh, something like that. So about one feet at least the minimum one feet or one and a half feet you have to go in the ground Even one feet will work because you're connecting all that with wood So it will provide a frame as long as the you know, it's holding on the ground just for the time being It will eventually all settle in and become one frame and I put the border the, this is the extra lumber I had these are all mostly cull lumber that means damaged or warped lumber I got for very cheap from Lowe's so I made it in a very cheap way so I put mulch I got some free mulch from the landfill here the landfill here provides free mulch so I take my trailer and load it up and that's one trailer load covered about about uh, one and a half feet or so halfway I have filled with mulch now I have a delivery of compost coming today so the remaining half about one and a half feet will be filled by compost and eventually it will settle down because as the mulch will rot this mulch is almost half rotten almost decomposed you see it's decomposed almost decomposed so it will go up go down a little bit more as it decomposes it's very nutritious for the soil so I'm going to fill the compost to the very top compost mixed with topsoil you know I have a we have a company here called Resoil they they sell topsoil and uh, compost so I ordered about three cubic yard of compost and about five cubic yard of topsoil or black soil and I'm going to uh, mix it up they're going to deliver in a truck. So I got about 8 cubic feet coming today to fill this up. I'll have extra remaining to create maybe one more bed or for potting soil. I can use the extra one for other purpose for the garden. So this is how it looks like. You see the frame? It's all uh, um, framed up. You see? And it's all plywood on the side. And whenever, uh, wherever I had, a, I had extra sheet of tin, old metal roofing tin. So I just put that here for more durability. 
even this will last a lot of years right um, so you can use pretty much anything you want and they it will last long enough where for multiple years at least and my goal is to just is to get started I can put more wood outside and fill up the body from the outside so it will last much more longer I can put some more wood and lumber on the outside and make it more uh, enduring and more framed up with wood so it will last much longer than just the plywood so the goal is to I have a timer here I'm gonna put a drip irrigation going that way I'm gonna put a half inch coming from the timer flexible half inch tubing the flexible half inch tubing will go here and it will be a half inch manifold going that way and a quarter inch tube about three of them three quarter inch tube going all the way 25 feet out and with drip lines so in Amazon you can find quarter inch drip irrigation hose it has uh, a hole in every every feet has one hole in the hose so you don't have to uh, drill any holes or put any any drippers you just put the quarter inch tubing which has holes and will drip feed it and one one feet of that hose will cover about one feet um, radius so this is how it's going to look once I fill the compost I'll show you so you have to tamp it down with the tamp like that you see so when you tamp it down it will be more uh, it will more it will go it will more compress hey once it compresses then it will uh, go down much less you know otherwise if it's not compressed enough uh, when you fill the compost and when it start rotting when it start decomposing it might fall too much low you don't want that you want it to go down the least so yeah this compost is going to be about a feet and a half so the total three feet high half of that is mulch half of that is going to be topsoil mixed with compost that's how it's going to be and drip feed all these things that I'm going to plant this is how it looks like already all right more later. Bye-bye.